G'day, you Rotten Rotten. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot and lets us bring you extremely cool pedals like this mischief from Past Effects. Now, if you're not onto Past Effects yet, you must have been living in a cave or under a rock somewhere. Past Effects are bringing back all these really old, vintage, hard to find um, pedals and stuff that we love. That are you know they're impossible to source. Uh, parts for and old chips for and that sort of stuff, but the team at Pass Effects are uh, sort of managing to sneak them all out, find the old vintage parts and reissue them. Now, if you're a bit of a Gilmore guy, and let's face it, if you play guitar, you know who Dave Gilmore is. He bought a rat in about 1990, used it till about uh, 95, which means he would have been using it live on his board during the uh, Live in Venice concert, which is... Uh, Extremely cool, um, yeah, along with a lot of other pedals too, of course. Now, there is a lot to get through here, a lot. Uh, so, so bear with me. So, Mischief, for those of you that don't know, a bunch of rats is like a whole heap of rats together is called a mischief, like a, a mob of crows uh, is called a murder. Rats are called a mischief, which is really awesome because there really is so many different rat tones you can get out of this. Now, now I'm just going into the uh, Marshall Astoria behind me, uh, the green one, there we go. Sounds like that. Now, when I turn the mischief on, you can see the green LED. Now, this has a really cool multicolored LED that does flick over to a whole different heap of uh, different colors as you turn it, which is pretty cool. But I'll get to all those settings in a sec. Oh my God, I love it already. Uh, now with the LED in green, this is just it in stock mode using the, uh, an old original vintage um, LM308 op amp. I'll go through the gain and the filter really quick and then we'll get into all the different tricks this baby's got up its sleeve. Really nice. Holds all that bottom in there for you, bottom end in there for you. Filter knob. I think I like it about that sort of one or two o'clock there. Now there's also an enormous amount of volume and the Astoria behind me has a massive amount of clean headroom so I'm not gonna turn it all the way up because it will clip the channels. Let's have a quick look here. Okay, I did turn it all the way up and yes, it did clip the channels. Okay, so while I've still got it in the stock mode, I'm just gonna show you through the sizzle button. The sizzle button just adds a little bit of presence and a little bit of gain. Just in case you feel like just in case you feel like the stock rat doesn't have enough gain for you there, I guess it might even turn it into a turbo rat, I'm not sure, but. I have to check with the team at Pass Effects to see if that's uh, correct or not. 
But it does add presence and gain. Now, before we move on to the pulse knob, uh, which again is a little uh, nod and wink to pulse uh, from uh, Pink Floyd. We're gonna go through the bass knob. Now, this has two different bass settings. Now, this does not just put it through a tone cap or something like that. This is an actually a, this is actually an active bass circuit. So uh, it's actually adding more bass. Not just changing the tone of your signal. Down is in more bass. Let's back up in stock. So down is extra bass, and if you flick it up past the middle position, you get turbo bass. All right there's stock. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. So we've got our stock rat. We've got the sizzle, which adds some gain and some uh, presence. We've got a three-way toggle switch for bass, so you can add extra bass or turbo bass, which is awesome. Now, this is where we get into all the different rats, and this is what makes this pedal so very, very special. The pulse knob. Now, I'm going to push this button. You're going to see the LED turns to white, so it matches the first white graphic there on the knob. Now that keeps us in our stock rat uh, clipping mode. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, when I flick it over to blue, this changes it to asymmetrical clipping mode. So we've gone from stock, asymmetrical. Now here's the cool bit, is that while you're in these other modes, the sizzle button still works and the bass three-way toggle switch still works. Oh yeah. And remember, I don't have the gain all the way up here. Now, because Verly at Pass Effects is pretty awesome, she's also put a red mode in. You can see red mode there, and then the LED changes to red as well, which is super cool. I just love little features and little details. Little, you know, attention to detail like that that I really love with these boutique builders. Now, red is LED mode. You can hear the different, uh, the clipping change. From stock mode. LED mode. With the sizzle on now. It's so good. Now the last one, where am I? Pink, LED turns to pink. You got the pink on the graphic there as well. I just love it. Now this is sort of like a weird combination of a few different components, which, which also includes some germanium diodes. So this is gonna be even cooler again. Stock rat. Combination of a few different bits with some germanium diodes. LED. Asymmetrical. And back to stock right, it's so good. Uh, then I don't have my actual proper space echo in the studio at the moment, so Space Echo for Gilmore. Before 
you all jump up and down at me and say, you're playing it wrong. Yes, I am deliberately playing it wrong because Pink Floyd are chronic, chronic uh, video blockers. Not Pink Floyd, their record company are chronic, chronic uh, blockers. So, you know, you only get 10 seconds and I'm trying not to uh, get a, a, a copyright strike here. Well, there you go. That is the mischief from Past Effects. Now we've done a lot of uh, videos from Past Effects. We've done a lot of videos on Past Effects pedals, and every time I get one, I'm just shocked at, at how good they actually sound. I'd like to thank Verley very much for sending this to us as well. Now, if you're chasing Gilmore tones, um, I mean, this has got to be a, a must-have. Now, Verley's got a, a crazy crazy vintage pedal collection it's a, a very vast and amazing pedal collection and she's right into uh you know recreating all these pedals for us so we can get the sounds we want from the people we love and idolize so if you are into gilmore um this is a must have on your board so uh get onto past effects there's a link down in the description to their website and to this particular pedal get in and get an order because i know and I'm not trying to create a fear of missing out thing, but these um, these op amps, these LM308 op amps are very, very rare and they're very expensive. I think she sourced about, I don't know, I can't remember how many she said, but it wasn't many. So if you do want one, um, I suggest you get in there nice and quick and, and grab one. Anyway, if you've got this far, thank you very much. Um, this has turned out to be a much longer video than I thought, but I just, I wanted to show you all the way through it. So please like, subscribe, go to Past Effects, check them out. They're amazing. Um, thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate your time. And uh, thank you for spending some time with us. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.